And well, welcome back to the shed. Um, doing another video today. I was watching a uh, mate of mine, Mr. Buckaroonie, put up a video on uh, Saturday, I think. Previously gone, would have been about the 27th. And uh, he was showing you how to charge up a power station from a battery box. Now, unfortunately, it didn't work out for him. Uh, probably for multiple reasons. Uh, I think his power station was a little bit too underpowered and also he was having some troubles with his uh, um, inverter that he had on his power box. Uh, the cord was falling out of it so he wasn't getting a good connection there. Watch his video. I'll leave a link in the description. I might put a bit of a video up somewhere of just a short snippet of his video so you can have a look at it so you know who I'm talking about. But uh, yeah, like I said, he had a, probably had a couple of things going against him. Is he was trying to charge a 170 amp hour power station, a two, I think it was the Jackery 2000 plus or something, and uh, I've got the 1000 in the Jackery, and uh, he was trying to charge it from dead flat uh, with a power box, and I'm pretty sure the battery he's got in it's like 100. And 20 amp hours or something. I don't think it's a real big battery in it, but it was only a 750 watt inverter that he had on it. Unfortunately, you do need to have a reasonably big inverter to charge power stations because they do like to draw anywhere up to 580 watts. And I know it's got a 750 amp inverter in it, but it's still not big enough to convert the power from the um, battery box and uh, charge your battery up. You do need a bigger battery box and a bigger battery. So I'm going to hopefully show you today how to do it because I have my home built um, power station box that I had in the back of the FJ. Now that's it there. You can see the size of it there now. It's out of the car. So I had that bolted in in one seat in the back of the FJ. So it only took up one seat. The biggest part of it is actually the inverter charger there. That's the Renergy uh, 2000 watt inverter charger. It can put up to 75 amps in at a time if I want it to. Um, I do dial it back a bit, but uh, it's still got the 200 amp hour lithium uh, Renergy battery in there. Now I have got a shunt in it and you can see there I've been um, charging this this morning and it's putting in about uh, 5 amps. It's just on a float charge at the moment. It's at 100%. Uh, it's only putting in about 6 watts and it's at 13.3 volts. Now I have got 240 in this as well. I can charge the battery off the 240 in this and I can also export 240 volt power as well through that um, power box there. So all I have to do is turn the inverter on which is just a matter of pressing that button there and then plug my 240 into there that I want to run off 240. But then I can have got a 15 amp plug that I can plug in here and um, charge it off, off mains power if I need to to get the battery charged up reasonably quick. It's a good system. I'm going to pull this system apart. This will be the system that I'm going to put in the back of the Ranger. It'll get shrunk down from a lot of what you see there. It won't be as big as that. I, ha I made it that way so that I could fit it in the spot in the FJ. And um, all the sort of brains of the outfit are on the back here. The uh, Egon DC hub on the back here. That little cover there, you'll probably recognise it better with that on there. I've taken that off because I had to um, disconnect the um, power supply from the FJ, which went into here when I took it out of the back of the FJ. But I can still use this. I can still charge it. I've been charging it off the uh, solar. I've, got, I've only got a 100 watt Jackery panel outside there but you can see it's in the shade there at the moment but uh, I can still charge that off solar and I can still charge it off 240 if I if the battery gets down so you can see the solar light is on there at the moment and um, it's on uh, lithium mode I've got uh, that's my solar connector there I've got a um, USB and a cigarette lighter socket there if I want to run power into it there and I've got another output there which I normally in the FJ I just use this little kick-ass power box there's a video about that on my channel if you want to check that out but uh, what I'm going to do today is I am going to show you a couple of different ways to charge this little 1000 Pro Jackery Explorer up 
Now I've been running this down all morning. Uh, I've had my diesel heater going over there, running off the inverter in it. So that's running off the inverter and this cord here is running up to a light I've got up on the top there. And I've also got this little fridge running over here, which is down to temperature now, but why it was cycling to get everything down to temperature. It was at 70% this morning, it's now down to 27%. And what time is it? It is one o'clock in the afternoon. I switched this on at about 7.30 this morning and uh, it's been running all most of the day. So 7.30, 8.30, 9.30, 10.30, 11.30, 12.30, 1.30, 2.30, 11 30. So it's been running for about six hours from 70% down to 27%. It's only using um, 79 watts at the moment because the diesel generator is turned off now. It's just um, powering the fridge and the lights. So I'm going to unplug everything out of this. And the first thing that I'm going to show you how to charge is through the uh, cigarette lighter cord that comes with the uh, Jackery. Now you can plug that into your cigarette lighter plug in your car or I'm going to plug it into the uh, cigarette lighter plug. I'll probably plug the little kick ass in and there's three cigarette plugs in there. I'll just plug it into that and I'll charge it off the 12 volt off this. And I also might um, stick in the solar panels to the Jackery as well, just so you can get an idea. But unfortunately, the sun's gone behind the clouds now and I don't think it's going to come back out again. So I'm probably not going to get much solar power out of it. You do really need to have sun to charge <laughs> batteries. So, but I can charge it off the 12 volt and I'll just show you how many um, watts are going into the Jackery from this and I can also show you the amperage through the shunt off this that's why I want to leave it plugged into that to show you because at the moment uh, there's 9.3 watts going in and not even one amp so only half an amp going in because it is on a float uh, state there at the moment but uh, once I start charging this up you'll get some idea of how many watts and uh, amps are going into this to charge it up and uh, give, give you some idea how long it may take to uh, charge this thing up because it does give you a on the front of the display there an estimated time on how long it will take to charge with the current power that's going into it. So I'll get that set up and uh, we'll come back. Cheers. Okay, I've got it plugged into the little power box. So the power is coming out of my power station there. Uh, it says up on here it's negative seven point three five amps 97 watts coming out of my battery and going into the jackery we'll hit the display and uh, we've got 94 95 watts which is roughly about what it says on there and it's saying 99.9 hours left and 9.6 hours till it's fully charged at that rate so it's going to take 9.6 hours to charge this up and uh, it was at 27% and you can see now it's at um, 29%. So it does charge it up reasonably well, about 100 watts, which is only 7 amps. What we'll do now is I'll see if I can plug the uh, solar panels in because the sun is coming out a little bit, but I don't like the chances on how much power we're going to get out of it. But uh, we'll plug them in anyway. Now I do do this if I... I took this away once traveling and uh, I packed, plugged it into the back of the FJ in the cigarette lighter plug and I also plugged in 160 watts of solar into this and it charged it up really quick. It was putting in nearly 300 uh, watts so you can charge these up reasonably quick if you've got sun and 12 volt power but uh, the best way to do it is with 240 which I'll show you next through this. But uh, let's get this solar connected up. Okay, sun's out a fraction. It's going to come out a bit more in a second. So let's go down to the jackery and we'll have a look. And uh, we'll see if the sun comes out and see what it uh, does. It's putting in about 106 watts. I can see over on the um, power station of mine is only putting in 101 watts. So there is a tiny little bit of... Um, 
sun power going in. The sun's coming out a little bit now, so let's 113, 139, so 125, 139. So if you got an, in that in really good sun, you could possibly put another 100 watts in. So you'd be putting over 200 watts in, which would give you roughly 14, 15 amps. So you're going to get it charged up quicker. So 6.3 hours now at that rate, if it holds, see it goes up 6.5. So with 200 watts, you would possibly have this charged up within four hours. So that's with solar and with 12 volt. Let's do the uh, 240 now and uh, see how that goes. Cheers. So you can see there, there's only 100 watts coming out of this. So the extra power is coming from the solar panels out there. What is it at? 131 watts. So let's plug in the 240. We'll have a look at the display first. Now, hopefully you can see that. No charge going in, no watts going in, no outputs. It's at 30% and uh, I've got the 240 cord plugged into the back. All the other cords are out now and I've got it plugged into my power station. So there's no other cords going to this. It's just sitting there by itself. No other power going into it. So this will be totally powered off the 200 amp hour lithium battery in my power box. So I'll switch this on. It'll make a bit of a bipper noise for a few seconds while it starts up. So there you go there. We now have um, 240 volt power available. Uh, the battery is negative 2.3 amps because the inverter does chew about two amps. So 30 watts, 2.3 amps, and at that rate, we've got 87 point, you know, about 87 hours worth of power. Now, what we'll do now is we will switch the power point on We'll watch that go up. It is now going to go up dramatically. 68 amps. 852 watts. So this power station here is trying to draw over 800 watts. That's probably why Buck could not get his 750 watt inverter to charge his power station. Because they do chew anywhere from 500 to 800 watts. So 66 amps are coming out now. You can see my battery's dropped down to 12.8 volts. Nothing wrong with that. That will settle down. But uh, at that rate, it's saying that this battery will be flat in five hours. So let's have a look at the Jackery. So 742 watts. It will be charged in 1.4 hours. So what you could do is, if you wanted to charge one of these, you could let it run down, just use your, say you're having a blackout or something, um, just plug your appliance, this into your power source, let this run down a fair bit, then plug in your secondary battery to charge it up. Hopefully that will get you through the night. So if it can recharge this in 1.3 hours, that's saying that it will go flat within, um, three hours now at 66 amps. So you should be able to charge this a couple of times. So depending on how much power you're taking out, you could possibly run your house, like just run fridges, a few lights. Uh, as Buck says, he's got to run ceiling fans and uh, probably keep yourself running overnight till you can start a generator up in the morning or plug this into solar if sun is available. So just wanted to show you that you can do what Buck was saying, but unfortunately his uh, inverter was not big enough. And I don't think his battery would have been either. Like a 100 amp hour lithium or 120 amp hour lithium battery probably would have been flat within an hour or so. This is a 200 amp lithium battery in here. And uh, it's saying three hours until it's flat. So. That's just a quick demonstration on uh, how to do it. I didn't blow the shed up, Buck, so I don't think you will either. But uh, good luck with your next video. I hope you get your uh, inverter sorted out. 
Um, I really think you're going to need a bigger one regardless. I wouldn't try and charge your power station, especially that 2000 watt one with a 750 watt inverter. You're really going to need a 1000 watt one at a minimum and probably a 2000 watt, but a 1000 watt inverter should get you out of trouble and you'll be able to charge your um, power station up. Hope that helps you out. I uh, thought I'd uh, help a mate out, help Buck out. Uh, like he said, he wasn't 100% uh, sure whether he was going to get it to work or not. Uh, as soon as I seen it, I thought, yeah, his inverter is probably not big enough to do what he wanted it to do. The principle and the idea was great. Uh, definitely can be done. And as I've shown you here, it is being done. The jackery is up to 34% already. It is saying 1.3 hours till full. This is still showing three hours till it's flat and it's still putting in 67 amps. So it does take quite a lot of power to recharge one of these power stations. And I'm sure Buck's 2000 watt one would take around 60 something amps to charge it, but it would take twice as long. So mine's saying 1.5 hours, his would say three hours. So realistically, you know, you may need a 400 amp hour lithium battery to do the job and get you through the night. Okay, so just before I finish off, it's just about charged up. It's at 95% and what I have noticed once it got to about uh, 80%, it uh, the wattage went down. It uh, dropped down to 32 amps now, only 420 watts going in and the time battery remaining has gone up to four hours. So you could charge this a few more times than what I thought. Uh, we're down to 137 amp hours, 69%, and the battery is sitting back up around 12.9 volts. So as the uh, watts or amps drop down, uh, the battery is uh, recovering a bit quicker. So not as bad as what it seems. Uh, it's at 96%, only uh, 20 minutes left to go, and this will be fully charged. So I think what you should do if you are using one of these to power your house is actually plug it into your power box straight away. So plug your inverter, your secondary battery into your jackery, plug all your appliances into your jackery, turn on the inverter and uh, that will keep that topped up. It won't use as many amps uh, because this will be already full and this will just keep draining power from that so once that gets down to a low amount, turn it off and then rely on this to get you through the rest of the night. I think that would be a more viable option rather than waiting for this to get flat. Plug it into the other secondary battery with your inverter straight away and then uh, let it run down. And I think you'll get through the night, no worries at all, Buck. So that will be something for you to test out, I reckon, once you get your inverter sorted out. Um, and uh, I think you'll have no troubles at all because the amps and the watts have dropped quite dramatically. So that's about it. Uh, I'll finish off. Uh, stay safe, look after each other. And uh, one other thing, we'll just go to the uh, Ranger and I'll show you that and uh, we'll finish off. Cheers. Just stuff done. I am just about to shoot a video on my new electric torno. There it is there. Already got a couple of stickers, Texas Rabbit Works and Muddux Touring Australia. So stay tuned for that one. Cheers everyone. If you've got any questions, queries or comments, please leave them down below. Thanks very much for watching and uh, stay safe, look after each other. I'll see you on the next one. Bye. I'm gonna